All right. And you also indicated um, that you've never done CPR before. No, I have not. But you were trained to do CPR in the academy, were you not? We were trained. I've never done it on an actual person. All right. So to, at least then to the extent that you were, um, you weren't suggesting that you didn't know how to properly perform CPR. And they taught us briefly in the academy. So you knew how to perform CPR properly, right? Mm -hmm. I never done it on a person. I couldn't say I actually. Ms. Geiger, were you trained to do CPR properly? Yes, we were. Okay. Were you at those classes? Yes, I was. Were you paying attention during those classes? Yes, I was. Did you properly perform CPR on Mr. John? No, I did not. And I you didn't. could have, right? I tried to do a little CPR. Why would you try and do a little CPR on a man who's dying who needs your full attention? Because I had to keep getting up to see where I was at. That I, was more important than giving life-saving uh, help to this man. I had no idea where I was at. You were able to tell the 911 call taker very, very soon on that you were in apartment 1478. After that moment, why couldn't you have given him full, undivided, and proper attention? I was still on the phone with... You can put the phone on speakerphone, ma'am. I had so much stuff racing through my head. Oh, obviously, you were also able, at least on two occasions, to, uh, you must have stopped completely giving him CPR when you sent a message to Martin Rivera saying, I need you hurry, right? I did text him that. Okay, and so you must have at that point stopped CPR entirely. Yes, I did. And then, not even a minute later, you must have stopped CPR entirely again to send a second message to Martin Rivera. I was already out in the hallway. At oh, so you had already left him. That's whenever they told me to leave, the officers. So that's, no, ma'am, I'm talking about at 10.03 p.m. Uh, Mr. Lee, Officer Lee, and Officer Blair didn't arrive until almost 10.05. Yes, I do at, remember that, like, whenever they showed me, I sent those text messages. At 10.03 p.m. and at 10.02 p.m., you sent messages, text messages to Martin Rivera. Yes, I did. Text messages that would have required you to have put the phone in a place where you can see it, and you used your fingers to write out the words, I need you hurry, dot, 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 right? I don't remember how many hands I used. But you texted Mr. Rivera using your hands. Yes, I did. And as you were doing that, you were unable to give Mr. Jean your full attention, the attention that he deserved. Yes, I did. And then you made the choice to do that a second time. Isn't that true? Yes, sir. All right, so at both of those times, you put your needs and your wants over his. I still cared about him. Did you put your needs and your wants over him when you decided to do that? No, sir. All right. And then you went out into the hall. And you left him alone. I, when I heard the officers coming, I stepped outside. So you you decided to do something other than continue to give Mr. Jean life-saving measures. I wanted somebody there fast to get him You're out. You're not going to answer my questions, are you? Yes, sir, I am. When you went out into the hall, you did that because that was what you chose to do, even though you knew you should be given that man life-saving treatment. Yes, sir. You didn't know that he was going to die. I mean, you knew he was in really bad shape, right? Yes. You didn't know at that moment in time that you had actually shot him and severed his uh, ventricle from his heart. You didn't know that, right? No, I did not. In those moments, you know as a trained officer just how critical it is to make sure that you give life-saving treatment as fast and as proper as possible so you can maximize their ability to survive. You know that. Yes, sir. And yet, despite knowing that repeatedly, you made choices and decisions that suited you more than him. No, sir. Uh, you also indicated that you had done CPR, but yet there's no blood anywhere on your uniform or on your shoes. There is not. 